This exam is only a recap of your internship. This will help you to test how much you have remembered of all your learnings. You are watching and this is JM Pedagogical Vlog. Review. Quiz Part 10. Entitled. Building Networking and Linkages. Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. I will read the question twice and you have 10 seconds to pick the best answer. Okay let's begin. Number 1. What domain in the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers emphasizes the need to collaborate with the various stakeholders? What domain in the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers emphasizes the need to collaborate with the various stakeholders? A. PPST Domain 2 B. PPST Domain 3 C. PPST Domain 4 D. PPST Domain 6 The correct answer is, letter D. PPST Domain 6. Number 2. What law underscores the need to continuously advance in the teaching profession? What law underscores the need to continuously advance in the teaching profession? A. Republic Act No. 7836. B. Republic Act No. 7877. C. Republic Act No. 10627. D. Republic Act No. 10912. The correct answer is, letter D. Republic Act No. 10912. Number 3. Why is there a need to conduct parent-teacher conferences? Why is there a need to conduct parent-teacher conferences? A. To keep them updated of all the school activities. B. To help their children in their academic performance. C. To foster better relationships among the various stakeholders. D. To meet all the parents in your class. The correct answer is letter B. To help their children in their academic performance. Number 4. What is the importance of assisting the cooperating school in auxiliary services? What is the importance of assisting the cooperating school in auxiliary services? A. To lessen the loads of the cooperating teacher. B. To get additional merits. C. To help in the overall performance of the school. D. To learn more on other teaching related tasks. The correct answer is, letter C. To help in the overall performance of the school. Number 5. Why is there a need to design the individual personal and professional development plan? Why is there a need to design the individual personal and professional development plan? A. To make you highly and globally competitive. B. To be used for reference purposes. C. For compliance and requirement purposes. D. To guide you in your personal and professional advancement. The correct answer is letter D. To guide you in your personal and professional advancement. How many correct answers did you get? I hope you got a perfect score. That's for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated on my next videos. Hit the like button and leave your message on the comment box. Then share it with your friends and classmates. Thanks for watching. Watch these now.